With way the, to put the camera on. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. So you can control with this thing tag yes. too? Maybe like other controller? Yeah, like, an like other Xbox controller. controller. Like an Xbox, yeah. Okay. We make our own controllers like Xbox. You see, it's a controller with uh, 32 programmable buttons. Wow. But we like this device, we put Windows on it. I just <laughs> forgot how to, how to turn it on. Oh. There is a secret, like, you know, press volume button and I oh. did it one time. Okay, so I, I, I will play for tomorrow, I will definitely do it. But yeah, it's, it's a nice it's a nice device to have as a controller. So it's, uh, you see, that's a controller. Yeah. The screen is right there. Mm. So we like it. Again, we put Windows on it and our system and everything works. So you, got, you guys do hardware stuff? Yeah. We started doing making hardware because there are no controllers on the market that we can use with our advanced software. We have very advanced software, but no hardware control. Okay, guys. That's it. why we started using. We can, but doing that, we can custom build controllers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Director, Ken Image Studio. Ken is the very old yeah. I'm in Taiwan. Oh. Okay, in we Taiwan. Have from there, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, they're using. Our, we have very advanced software. Uh, that controls. Uh, Can you show me? Yeah. Like uh, how it's work. Well, um, here is our main controller. So it's okay. a software that we control cameras of different brands, yep. different protocols. And for you as a user, it will be camera one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So you don't think about protocol, different protocols. Okay. So you don't need multiple controllers for that. Uh, we. Um, like if you look at the any uh, PTZ joint PTZ controller, yep. joystick controller, uh, they they have basic functions like pan tilt, zoom, and some presets. Yeah, yeah. We do that also, but very precise. Very that's, precise. Uh, that's the main thing. Yes. Okay. We can all the we hate uh, we hate uh, fast movements for the joystick. So everything has to be nice and smooth. You can control cameras with. Uh, our real virtual joystick. Yeah, virtual joystick. Then you can use any uh, USB joystick. Okay. You can use uh, hotkeys on the keyboard. You can use uh, buttons, uh, and even with the buttons, uh, like you see, when I'm pressing the button, the camera starts moving slowly okay. and then accelerates. It's not just as with any controller. You press a button, the camera moves there with a specific <laughs> speed. No, it accelerates. Okay, it's a soft, it has the curve soft on there. button. Yes, okay, and we it. also have it with the joystick. When um, not all like Panasonic cameras, they they have it built in. So you you hit the joystick, the camera will slowly accelerate. Okay, but got it. But Sony Visca protocol, Sony that's a Sony. If you hit it, it will just. If you hit it, it will jump. There. No, that's with us. It's like you see, I'm I'm hitting the joystick. Yeah. But the camera, can, it's not jumping. So this is the software part. Uh, well, it's a hardware controller, but the quality is not about. It's also about so hardware joystick. Okay, but got it. But it's more about the software, how we calculate everything, how okay, we got manage it. everything. Yes, and you can. So use mean like if you turn off the soft, it will just like. No. Or no, like. No. It will no. It, it is still even if in soft mode, it still it still has variable speed, so you can easily accelerate it with a joystick. Okay. No, but but the point is, you see, even this. Yeah. So it's it's, it's very you can try it. It's very slow. Sure. It's very slow movement. It's very oh, it's, it's precise become, movement. Very precise movement. Yeah. This is zoom control. If you compare it with what we hate, we hate those um, walker. Oh yeah, you know, like a Panasonic. I, I mean, this one is. I, I don't zoom. know how people use it. You know, that rocker. You have to just press uh, slide B. No, 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 no. I know, but you have to uh, balance yeah, that thing with balance. two fingers. Yeah. So it's not easy to get. You can use it with one finger, like 
<laughs> if you need just okay, I won't just look. No, but if you need precise control, no, okay. you cannot. It's uh, it's better. We are using uh, in our hardware joystick. We are using gimbal joysticks. Okay. So you know the drones. You cannot mess with the drone. It will. Oh, okay, play. Sure. <laughs> But it would just stop immediately, immediately. like... Uh, I, why? I say it will... It, I, it stops immediately, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. stop the joystick. But you see, there is no dead point that uh, if you want to move the camera without stopping anywhere. Oh, okay. So it's what, we, it's what you can do with our joystick, with our control. Okay. So you can still move it without the boom, jump in the... In the but when you want to stop, yeah, I'll stop it and it will stop okay. immediately, yeah. Oh yeah, or with uh, the uh, this effect, with the soft effect, uh, even when you stop, you know, you, it was it was running fast. When you stop it, it will slowly be. Let's try it out. Yes. So it's uh, yeah, try it out. Try it out. You have like. Um, oh yeah. That's you what I'm you will about. have like a flying effect effect on the, about, about the crowd. You know, it's kind of you can move the camera. It will always move slow. About the, Above, and then when you release the joystick, it will still slow stop. Okay. So it's called soft start it, stop it. or soft landing. Any other cool functions in this software yes, and hardware? Yes, we are talking about basic functions. Okay, got any it. other controller, uh, let me let's switch it. Yeah, to sure. It, it will be easier for you and. Uh, we do a lot of optimization, a lot of visualization, like with any joystick, any controller you will have to dial cam 1, dial preset 3, and click go. <laughs> no, with us it's, it's super simple, it's all, you know, it's all, like we can, you see, you see the direct control of the camera. Okay. So you don't have to switch, make a lot of presses, mm -hmm. uh, do a lot of presses before you actually call a preset. So it's all... Uh, very simple and okay. the same as with this you notice we simplify the uh, everything uh, with uh, different colors like camera one is blue and presets are blue camera two is green I'll use colors presets, you use color it simplifies it for an operator you always know what you you are working with which camera you're working with same thing here you see it's the same kind of everything yeah. is all organized okay the same with our controller okay where you can control cameras uh, direct directly mm -hmm. you know it's like you see is there a direct preset presets for camera okay so blue are presets for the camera one green camera two red camera three very, very, again, very simple yeah and uh, we do um, this like this one is a, a this the top two screens that's one control uh, what we do here is so let me you see that's a BTZ layer mm -hmm. on top of uh, two stream uh, two monitors that uh, that offer two streams oh, okay. yeah so we can see 180 degrees in each side yeah so we can put two more monitors well, not in this location and have two more cameras we have 360 oh, okay and because the KPZ camera can do 360 mm -hmm. if, if needed. Uh, and these buttons are presets. Oh, cool. Yeah, so when you press a button... We just go... Let me see something is... Uh, something is not right here. You, yeah, you can move the buttons on the screen where the presets are. Okay. And again, if, if button touch each other, 
Let's go over there. Okay. So all three cameras will go to that preset if they touch. Oh. Or it's it's a preset. It's called preset visualizer. Mm -hmm. So you have one. You will you can use one screen. You can use any webcam, for example, mm -hmm. uh, or any video like at the eye feed to show your working area, and then you will move preset buttons uh, to the positions where the presets actually are. Cool. Yeah. It's not that preset. It's not configured yet. Yeah, but which one? <laughs> oh, you double, you double, you double, double click it. So it means you you can you can change the change the picture, change the background image oh, for the got it. Yeah. One click is to call preset. Double click is to change it. Yes. You can organize your presets. You see, on camera one, two, three. Yeah. Or move some buttons on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. All cameras move to preset to. I need to do something. It's kind of. They have delay usually. No, there should be no delay. Okay. Yeah, so we do. Um, <clears throat> you can also uh, have traces with our mm -hmm. software. Uh, you can memorize the camera movements with a joystick. You, you move the camera with a joystick and memorize what you do. Oh no! Do 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 do. Okay. And zoom in oh. and save it. Okay. And, it's, and then it's it's very easy to recall because we offer it as you can recall traces as presets. Okay. So the, then you will have uh, this is our uh, movement movement one uh, movement two. Yes. It's, yeah. uh, yes. Yes. It's movement trace. Okay. Okay. Well, movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then you can you just click and start uh, start a trace on camera two, uh, no, camera one, blue. Yeah, trace. It's oh, moving. It's going, it's yeah, it's moving. It's going somewhere. I believe it will go to that side. So it's it's easy to manage uh, tracer traces for uh, multiple cameras. Mm -hmm. Again, you see camera two will have green button like only two traces available you see there are more options here you can do um, timeline so we have timeline player mm -hmm. it's uh, when people create uh, music audio mm -hmm. uh, you can resize all our panels on your uh, on your screen so we want to be a secondary controller on the screen because they usually like with this setup there are four screens working for one computer. Mm -hmm. so usually you have one or two so there is not enough room for video so that's why we want to be uh, it looks like a controller on the screen. Okay. So we have a timeline player so people when create when they create music they put sounds on the timeline. We put camera movements on the timeline. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, yeah. Yeah, timeline second five all cameras go to preset three then camera one move left with speed two camera two move up with speed one and all this so stuff. you can design it I mean, like we just give you a tool that you can use uh, and the limit is only your imagination so, so how or oh, oh, just open timeline okay if, you're, if you want well, to it, design uh, the music well it's kind of, let, let's see so we want you see second five I want what camera one move to preset one okay uh, I can edit anyway then I want um, second 10 I want camera yeah, I just, I want just to like editing edit. several and key frames yeah, so, uh, I want to add uh, I want to make camera one, one two, more preset to preset two, uh, two. Yeah. very simple so add event you see very simple and then you can save it um, you can save the timeline as a file as a file okay well, let's see, I have a special folder for it. I uh, uh, will make a um, test. B. Oops. <laughs> no, let's see. Uh, then uh, there is no yeah, I need to use the touch screen. <laughs> so we'll resave what we have. Uh, and whenever, like uh, the timeline is ready, when you open it, when you want to open the timeline, it's a file. Okay. So you can open it, double click. And, and then play. You play. Yeah, so in, in second right. five, five, camera one goes to preset one, and then in second ten it will go to preset two. Okay. Or again, you can put any any commands to multiple cameras here to do something at the same time or 
It's a timeline. Mm -hmm. Got it, got line. it. So, um, you can definitely do basic things with uh, with uh, with uh, our software, like change the exposure oh, the settings. Can camera control part. Yeah, it's like an iris shutter gain. Yeah, okay. The main the settings when we. When you switch between the cameras, we uh, scan the camera settings mm -hmm. and show them to you. Okay. So you will start from the position where where the camera was before. So you always know where where you are. And like even with the cameras, like when you switch between the cameras, we see if the camera is live or no. Oh, okay. With the presets, you always see the last call preset. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, like with this camera, camera two, it was preset three. Camera one was preset two. Yep. Last call preset. Uh, we do. Uh, you can. We have macros. <coughs> like all this panel, they work with macros. When I press mm -hmm. the button, we have TriCaster here. Yep. That's a BMX machine, and that's a Black Magic machine. Yep. So I press the button, the TriCaster and BMX and Black Magic 